Let's see. Let's see. Am I not on yet? Mm-mm. How come my video won't pop up, y'all? Oh, here you go. Hey, four people. Hey, Tori Joyner. Hey, Miss Congeniality. How are y'all? Greetings, friend. Greetings. I got me a jewelry bag, y'all. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Francie. Stop. Sorry, go to sleep. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Caroline. Lori. Akimi. What's up, y'all? Found a jewelry bag. I found two, actually. I found a, two. I'm going to see how long I could, it takes to get through. Hey, Marge. Hey, Sherry. Y'all, my hair is a hot royal mess. Let's get it out of here. I was trying to do something different with my hair. I'm going to have to wash it and, and blow it dry. What's up, Marge? Um, Barbara. Hey, Barbara. Kathleen. Yeah, I'm going to try it. I was excited to do this. I just did two, two videos, a thrift haul and a um, retail haul. Hey, Carolyn. Thank you. I don't like it. It's not me. I was trying something with this uh, product to make your hair curly, and it just ain't me. Hey, Sanja Turner. What's up, friend? Thank you. I don't, you know, Lane, I don't like it. Look at that. I don't like it. I got, it looks like it's stiff because of the product that I use. Hey, Fatima. Yo, I'm getting ready to do some jewelry. Oh, wow. Go ahead. Get out of here, Kathleen. Y'all hear that? Kathleen is cancer-free, y'all. Let's ring the bell. I wish I had a bell. You know the hospital. All right, we'll clap. Get out of here. Go ahead, girl. Yes, Kathleen. Girl, won't he do it? Won't he do it? All right, y'all are speaking to each other now. But yes, I don't even have a bell to ring. But I'm a... Um, Yeah. Oh, wow. A girl, I know you did cartwheels up out of that place. Wow. I know you did cartwheels. Hey, sugar honey, you won the box. And you did you notice the um post yet? Yes. What's up, Lane? I ain't seen you on that. Y'all, Lane's birthday just passed. Let's give a round of uh, happy birthdays to Lane. Lane's on. Sandra Turner, for y'all that don't know. Hey, Miss uh, Mildred, how are you? Yes, girl. I know you hit cartwheels. I'm opening up this bag, y'all. I know you did cartwheels. Y'all, look at my face. I woke up yesterday. I was supposed to meet up with Molly yesterday. Hey, Barbara. Oh, I already spoke to you, Barbara. Yeah. I, I was supposed to meet. I don't, a lot of y'all may not know Molly. Molly's around. Molly's always quiet on live. But anyway, she lives local to here. And um, I woke up Friday. I was red all around here with bumps and swollen and itchy. So anyway, I went to the doctor and she gave me this ointment to put on. So I, um, look, it's, it's getting a lot better. It ain't as red. This was yesterday morning. Hot mess, y'all. Oh yeah, you won. You won. You, y'all, my superstar won. Yes. <laughs> And um, who else won? No, I forgot. Somebody else won. You, Martha, and oh, Shamika. Shamika won. Yep. Um, Sugar Honey. Hey, hey, Will. Did I? If I missed anybody else, I do not mean y'all. I was on somebody's live. I told you for two weeks straight. And I really felt like I was being ignored. So I said, I never want nobody. If y'all know, I've always been like that on my lives. I never want anybody to feel like they're being ignored. So if I am, uh, if, you, if I don't mention your name, please say something else and somebody will catch my attention because I'm going to be doing 
um, the bag. Okay, take your time, sugar honey. I'm getting ready to do show jewelry. So um, if while I'm doing this bag, if somebody pops on and they, um, and I don't get a chance to say their name, please speak for me. Lisa, I know you will. And I know um, Marge and sugar honey's busy, but I know a couple of y'all will. So I appreciate that. But um, yeah, I had, I never, hey, hey girl hustle, what's up friend? So um, thank you, Tammy. I appreciate that friend. Yeah, did y'all see those um, little knickknack boxes? Did you see that second one? That second one was, I mean, the last, the second video, because I did two on one, one, box, one video, and then I did that. That last one had all kinds of goodies in it. Y'all, I was done. I said, mm, I got to look at those things a little more often. But you know what? I just grabbed them because they was there. Okay, Marge, I know you will, friend. So look, y'all, this bag was $16.81, but that day I got it from Thrift Giant and everything was thrift, everything was 50% off. It was Thrifty Thursday on Thursday. So um, anyway, I, um, yes, I know. Ain't that right now? Y'all going to be looking for them bags. You know, they come in the big bags too. I have gotten them before, with, but it, I, was ne I never got one that good. But now they're putting them in those shoe boxes. Yeah, the, but that creepy doll's worth a little money, Marge. <laughs> yes, she is. She can be creepy all she wants. Yeah, so the thing is, but for $6.99 and $3.99 that I paid for them, like that wasn't bad, you know? So yeah, I, I gotta still got to do something with Lane for her birthday. Y'all, I was going through it. Look at me. Look at this. It was, I'm telling you, if this was yesterday, I couldn't have came on here. My whole face was red and swollen. I had a video appointment with my doctor, right? Because I, now what she thinks, I thought it was for some from the face wash. But I had been using that um, uh, face wash. And then I stopped and I started using it again, like in a couple days, couple days prior to Friday. Not only on my face, but I actually had a rash in a couple other places. Not like that, <laughs> no, but a couple other spots on my body. And she asked, so that's why she said, come in. And she stopped me off that medicine. And the funny thing is, I started having these little weird rashes around the time I started, because I had stopped taking the medicine and started again when I, like, remember when we were in Georgia and we had to go pick up the medicine? That's when I started taking it. But I was so busy with, as soon as I got home, I had to go back to Jersey and all of that. So I didn't pay it any mind, but it got bad. And when I woke up with my face, I was like, yeah, I can't be playing with my face. From where, now this ain't even from a mask. This is just from, um, this is just from uh, the medicine, she said, because it's not only on my face like this. I got a couple patches on my thigh and I got a couple patches on my lower back. And she said, it's the size, it's Jardians will cause like infections on your body. It will cause your lady parts to be have issues. It will cause like uh, rashes to pop up. Yeah. So uh, yeah, this stuff. So I, I mean, I had been taking it before, but stopped and then started taking it again a couple, and it's just tearing me up. So it ain't right. But anyway, like I said, sixteen eighty one for this bag. If I missed anybody, y'all, I'm so sorry. Yeah, your little lady parts ain't going to be fresh. They, that's, that's one of the side effects. But anyway, it was all the way to here, all the way down my neck, and all up on my nose, like right up underneath my eyes, was bloodshot. I sent Molly a picture, actually. Look, y'all want to see? It's a mess. I was looking horrible yesterday. No, I know, Lane, but we got to do something. You know how it is, child. Um, Wait. I sent Molly this picture yesterday. She was like, ooh. <laughs> Wait. Look. See how I was, can y'all see that? How I was swollen and looked like I had been beat. Wait, let me take the color down. The light down. Looked like somebody had beat me up. All over my face. Where's the other picture? My face was bad. I was worried. So I, um... When I got there, she said, yeah, stop taking the medicine. All right, wait, let me catch up with y'all. Okay. 
Hey, Rochelle. Hey, Le uh, Linda. Welcome, Rochelle. Ro Rochelle, I'm thinking you're new. Welcome, welcome. Just join in with us. Um, who else, y'all? Okay, so now. Oh, I know. Thank God for that. I have an EpiPen. I do have. Hey, Judy. What's up? So, Judy is out of the hospital. She's doing good, y'all. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to start this bag. So, if anybody pay black tax, what's up, friend? Oh, okay. Rochelle's new, y'all. Let's welcome her in. Now, let, so since we got some new people, I'm explain. Since I haven't done this in a while, this is a a bag that you buy from the thrift store, and lo, any thrift store you might go in, they might have it. It's a popular thing. Used to be, I used to be able to get them a lot easier. Oh, you did? Get out of here! So wait, huh? <laughs> I said what? Okay, I think he was talking to somebody else. So anyway, y'all, this right here, um, if, these are the mystery jewelry bags. You buy it like this. You don't know what's in it. This bag I was $16.81. Everything was half off that day. So I pay $8.40 for it. Y'all will see these in my thrift haul when the thrift haul comes about. So now I'm just going to go into the bag. I got a towel down here, and I'm just pulling out stuff, and I'll show you each piece. That's how we do it, y'all. For y'all that have been around for a while, y'all know. This is, I don't know who. Vice versa. So watch, by vice versa. You know they was asking some crazy price. Oh no, $2.99. So at once the color of the week goes by, y'all, what they do is they take all the jewelry, they put it in these bags, and they sell them for the bags. Now, if I miss somebody's comment while I'm doing this, Please, somebody uh, step in for me. Okay, this right here is a leather bracelet. It's genuine leather, and it's it's by Fossil. Here's Fossil's name right there, and it goes like this. So it's just a leather. This could be for a man. Well, small, small wrist man. But it's like a baby blue. It could be for a woman, too. That's cute. Oh, watching the, uh, look. That ain't bad together. <laughs> so, all right. Oh, this is cute. This is rather cute. Does it say anything? Like a name or anything? No. All right, look at this. It's a bracelet. Pull these tags off. It's a bracelet with um, rose quartz. Isn't that cute? And it does like this here. And it hooks like that. You see? It's cute. Okay, three decent pieces. Make a little money off of that. Then what's, oh, this is one of these. It needs a battery, but it's a watch, right? Wait. Yeah, AccuTime watch. You see that? And it normally will light up like that or something. But see, I think it needs a battery. But it's a watch. It's one of the ones that the light shines through. Okay, here's another bracelet. Pull this off. And it's one of these, you know, that go like that. And some little beads on it. Cute little bracelet. Cute. And we have a couple tangled up necklaces. Okay, this is by... Let your heart, no, it's just a little saying that says, let your heart be your compass. Okay, let your heart lead you, I guess. Yeah, oh, and here's a little compass. That's cute. And the little things hang like that, you see? And it's on little seed beads with a tie. Again, if I'm missing your comment, y'all, I'm so sorry. Oh, you did, Black Text? Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't been able to find them as much anymore. Here's a little stretchy bracelet. Yo, I started doing my nails, so I got a little glue on them. They just would not work right. So I was like, forget it. It's nothing I could do. I just started. And so my nails are really messed up. I cut them down, and I kind of filed them a little bit like I usually do. 
So that's a little plastic bracelet, but it's cute. I wouldn't go as far as to say kids because an adult could wear this. But a kid would probably enjoy it too. Okay. Got a little chest, not necessarily chest filler. Collarbone chiller. Your little degolete or whatever it's called. Hmm. It's all right. It's not in bad shape. It's in good shape. Okay. Oh, this is cute. Is this anybody's name? No. I'm not going to take that off right now. But look. Very autumnal. But also spring. You could have this either or. I think this is all season. Look at that amber color that's in there. And the little beads. That's cute. It's a multi-strand necklace. Right? That's really pretty. Okay, some junky bangles, junky color coming off. But again, these are good for, for craft projects. And these are also good if you want to spray them a certain color. You know, the spring and the summer comes in and you might want a little color to your wrist. So you, you know, spray these. Imagine that little turquoise or bright yellow or yeah, whatever. Okay, vintage beads. Nobody's name is on them. Beaver Cleaver's mother wore these at one time. Over her beautiful polka dot dress with the crinoline under it. And she was in the kitchen with her tiny waist and these beads on. Yeah, that was her. And then cooking with her high heels on. Imagine that. Let's see, who else? Okay, this is by... I don't know who that's by. It's by it says it has a name on it, but I don't know who it is. It's not a name I'm familiar with. Cute, nice glistening. See the glistening coming off of that? Cute little dainty necklace. A little dangle there. It's cute. Hey Rosa. Hey, Giggsy, if I missed anybody else, y'all know I'm doing this uh, bag. So I'll be with y'all. Okay, this is one of those wrap bracelets. Nobody's name is on it. Nobody's name is on it. So it probably came from like a Forever 21 or Claire's or something. You know how it wraps like this, the watch? Like that? Yeah. One of them wrap watches. Probably needs a battery. Oh, man. Here you go. You want to throw back? Oh, y'all. This, you know what? This is pretty. It's not my style, but it's pretty. So I got to look this up. Look at the, look at that bead with the um, flowers on it. So this, I was getting ready to joke about it. It looks a little Miami Vice-ish. It's, it's definitely got some age and it is by who? Hold up, y'all. Japan. It was made in Japan. Now, that's not bad. This is not bad. Honestly, this is not bad. It's pinks, silver grays, and then this beautiful um, decorated um, uh, bead right here. Can y'all see that bead? Look at that. That's pretty. Hey, Doreen. <laughs> Aunt Louise. I ain't talk. I haven't heard from Aunt Louise in a long time. Y'all. Speaking of Aunt Louise, wait. Hey, Rochelle. Yes, and these, that's what these are good for, too, Rochelle. Wait, look at this, y'all. Aunt Louise said, give me my spinners. Look, remember back in the 80s and well, 90s, not the 80s, 90s and the early 2000s when people had the big rims and they had the spinners? Y'all, it's a necklace. Somebody is going to laugh because somebody going to know. Look at that. Do y'all, seriously, y'all, big, gaudy look. Uh-uh, I can't, I cannot. Yes, look at this. Big old chain and the spinners. <laughs> I can't, I can't deal. 
Yes. All right. This is by Ann Klein. It's nice, nice leather embossed alligator or crocodile or something. Ann Klein. It's um, leather, but you know, has the embossed crocodile look. Cute brown. And then this is okay, okay, okay. All right, relax, relax. Y'all, is this a chest filler or what? Father, <laughs> come on now. This thing will fill your chest. Look at you can't even see because I'm sitting. Uh, I'm holding. I got the camera up a little higher. Look at that. Hey, Deborah. Yes, I got my. I got two of them today. I might open both because I'm going through this one really fast. That's cute. Okay. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. This is sterling silver clasp. Uh -uh. I don't want to break it. I'm, I didn't take it, but look at these stones. And it's a sterling silver clasp. Nice bracelet. Nice bracelet. Cute. It's small. This is small. It's too small for me. Hey, Claire. Hey, Kelly. This is has been stretched out. So we would go for a nice big wrist. But look at the um stones. Little rhinestones on there. Nothing spectac. But cute. Okay, we got some age. I'm going to rock y'all back to the 70s. Hey, Wanda. Hoboken, New Jersey in the house. What's up, friend? Y'all, this is really nice. And I'm going to go as far as before I even... Hold up, y'all. I want to say this is Bakelite. I'm rubbing it on my jeans so I can see. One second. So I can see if I can pick up any smell. Not picking up a smell. But I really think it is. Look at this. Look at that. Look at the thickness. Look at this bracelet. I want to say it is. I really do want to say it is. Look at the inside of that. I really want to say it is. But I can't tell. I'm, hey, Sonya Smith. How are you, friend? That's a nice piece there. Look at this. This is Geneva. You know her. She gets around. Geneva gets around. Geneva is in everybody's bag. Anybody could bag Geneva, if you know what I'm saying. Geneva's a loose one. Kelly's on here starting trouble. I see her. I see her. Okay, this. Oh, it's a magnetic. Okay, say you're getting ready and you want to go out with boo, right? Do I have this the right way? No. Like this, look, and you ain't got no time to be fiddling. Look. Come on, boo, let's go. There you go. That's how we do it. Plastic. <laughs> Plastic, cute. Kelly is a hot mess. What does that say? Oh, it's not. It, they were selling this for 95 cents. Child, this was a hot royal mess. I just got to wash my hair to get all this gook out of it. The, the product that was making it curl up. I got to get that out. Okay. Oh, we got the bells for Kathleen. We're ringing the bells. Kathleen, y'all, Kathleen is cancer free. Kathleen is cancer free, y'all. She no more chemo. Yes, indeed. I told her, I said, I know you did. Oh, this somebody was selling this for $24. $24. I said, I know you um did cartwheels up out of there. Look. This looks like it might be like something from India or something. Yes. Go on, Kathleen, with your bad self. Okay, this, this is something I saw from the bag. And it turned out to be nothing, which I probably knew it was, but it's pretty. 
Wait till I show y'all this. Oh, this darn tape. They've been folding the tape over. And you can't really get it off unless you soak it off. Look. Ain't that pretty? Look at this. Grays, whites, and then reds. Like a ruby red in there in the stone. And it's a bracelet. Look. Really pretty. Dainty. Okay. Okay, this is the watch I think I saw, right? And it doesn't no, this ain't it. This is this is go for it. It's it is another watch, one of those kind of I don't know how you make these work. Okay, it needs a battery anyway, but look at that. It's not a Fitbit. It's cute though, right? But then I found this. This I saw this through the bag too. They were selling this for $8.49, then $4.99, and then in the bag. Okay. Oh, Rosa, too? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Rosa before. Okay, I was going to say, Rosa, you ain't telling nobody. All right, I don't know how this works, but it's called Vivo Fit right it's one of those watches but here's all the bands that go to it yeah here's all the bands so that was in a bag right here but again needs a battery okay and then here we go look at these big old bobbles on here plastic stretchy And then, ah, here's a cuff, right? Look. Now, that's what you call God. Would you look at that glistening um, sequence in there? Yeah. All that glistening. Okay, we got some natural stone and some wood, and it has the um, Chinese symbols on it. Look at that. So that's amethyst and um, the, uh, you see the little symbols? Can y'all see them? Yeah, cute little stretchy. Okay, and then we have animal print. Break a bangle type thing. And we have BFF ISI. Okay. Little kids bracelet. Now this is what? Oh, this was Anne's. Hold up, y'all. This was Anne's bracelet. And it is. I don't see anything special about Anne's bracelet, but look at that. Oh, it's not Anne. It's Lori Ann, Lori Ann's. Look at that, Lori Ann's bracelet. And it is, it got a buckle. Okay, Lori Ann. They, somebody gave away your bracelet, girl. You can't even get, get it open because it's stuck. I don't know. Here's another uh, natural, oh no, this is, oh yes it is. Oh no, this is plastic. Plastic beads. I thought it was natural uh, stones, but it's not. They're just plastic. Acrylic-like. Hey, Patricia Clark. Another little cheapy bangle. Okay, almost done with this bag. Um, we got a whole stack of cheapy bangles. That was tied together with a little uh, ribbon. And then we have a watch by, does it say Armani Exchange? Yeah, Armani Exchange. Wow, that was a cheapie for Armani. 
Yeah. Armani Exchange. Wow. That's a cheapy looking it's rubber. Okay, so I'm done this bag. I think I am going to open that second bag. Oh, this is pretty. This is not sterling silver, but it is the most beautiful. What's the name of this stone, y'all? Y'all know. The foggy, clear foggy one. Not, it's not quartz. It's, um, what's the clear foggy? Y'all know that bead. I can't think of it. But pretty. And then we have some turquoise chips. And they do appear to be turquoise. This is by... Oh, it says 925. Yeah, 925. The uh, it has it's silver and turquoise, and it's a memory bracelet. And the little that tag right here says it's 925. Cute. And then we got this <laughs> Valentine's Day. That has a nice little glistening. You know what? I think I'm going to take these, take it apart, and throw it with my little scatter for table settings. Hey, Rochelle. Um, I'm going to catch up. Y'all, I'm going to catch up because I don't want to get in conversations that I don't know. Oh, Google. What, Google, why y'all playing with me? Is anybody saying anything wrong? Is anybody saying anything wrong? Or they might be, you know what? They might just be testing on us. So if they, if Google um, erased something, y'all, just put it back. They might be testing on us because they've been in the live chats. One day, I know the last time I was, was shocked to see that it said Google took away a, a um, Google took away a, a message. So if Google is in here taking away messages, just, if you see your message gone, just retype it. I ain't thinking, because we don't say nothing wrong that can't be up. So anyway, this is, oh, this is kind of cute for a teenager. Look at that. See the colorful um face? <laughs> they better get out of here. See that colorful face? That's really pretty. And But it's, again, plastic. Uh-oh, let's add a little more. What is this? This was 99 cent. Trees of mystery. Let me see what this is. This ain't no, oh no. Trees of mystery. It's like a pin, a tack pin. Yeah. And then we got a necklace here. And this necklace is a nothing spectacular, but cute, dainty. I don't know, I love me a little... Look at that. If this was cleaned up, I bet you these little stones sparkle. Do y'all see that? I bet you they do if that was cleaned up. And the chain is like one of those oil rub chains, oil rub bronzy looky thingies. I'm going to clean that up. I'm going to see how that comes up. Okay, we have some glasses. Yeah, this is one of them bags where they were throwing in the last of what they had. These are by who? Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson. Yeah. Oh, Rochelle, I'm so glad. Rochelle, I didn't, you know what? I'm not getting in the conversation because I'm not in it, but I just saw that you had been sick and you're doing better. So congratulations, friend. Harley Davidson. Y'all see that? <laughs> you're talking about that necklace. That necklace is going to look cute cleaned up. Okay, we got some Aunt Judy. These are Aunt Muriel neck, um, watches. I've told them before about Aunt Muriel. Remember Aunt Muriel used to wear them little teeny tiny necklaces on her little teeny tiny hand or wrist? Look at this. I meant not necklaces, watches. Look at that. This is Anne Klein. And then this one is by Elgin. If it wasn't so beat up, this might be worth a couple dollars. 
Yeah, those glasses, they might sell. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And here's another one by Elgin. The, the watch, the band is just so messed up on that. Here is a earring that is by Best. Y'all know that company, Best. It's just one earring. The other one might be in here where it fell off. Yeah, the glasses are cute. They're Harley Davidson. So this might be a couple dollars. Yeah, really nice. All right, I'm going to set them over here too. That's the earring by Best. Then we have another pin tech pin. You know them. This is May 18th, 1980. Mount St. Helens. That's probably a church because we used to have a Mount St. Helens in uh, New Jersey. Little tie, you know, not a tie tech necessarily, but like a lapel pin or something. Yeah, they're cute. Okay, these are pretty. Uh oh, what we got here? What we have here? Let's see. Let me check. Let me check. Ah, thought I was going to see some writing on here. I thought for sure. But nah, they're not. These are some cute little earrings, though. See them just some hoops but they got like some um little teeny um almost uh what is it y'all marcasite look almost a marcasite look but it's not it's faux cute and then um one of them little bar necklaces it doesn't say it's fake remember these were out and everybody had the little necklace with the little bar on there little dainty piece, but they used to be gold. And then you could find the fake ones. Yeah, that's a fake one. Okay, a couple other cheapies. But this one's cute with the turquoise. Look at that. Like, that's what I was saying. You know, this summer just is bringing in color. Here's another of those tack pins. And this one is... Okay. Y'all, catch a something can. Catch a can. Something. Catch it. Catch it can. Catch a can. I don't know. Something. I don't know what that is. Okay. Oh, these are cute earrings. These are some good throwbacks. These are by somebody. They are by somebody. It says, oh, oh, Park Avenue, I think. Look at that. Cute. And these are clip-ons. Cute. Almost door knocker, but not. I'm going to put them with my vintage earring lot. Okay, here is a, another one, but this is, um, this is a, more like a tie pin. Canada. It's a pin pin. See? Has the pin on the back and it says Canada and it has the what do they call the Mounties with the horse Marge you know what is it called hey Joe if I miss if those are wait a minute maybe gasket what does gasket mean If I missed anybody else, y'all know I'm just doing this video. I will. I promise I'll get with you soon. Okay, here's a belt buckle that whatever was on it is gone. Yeah. And then we have... A little fanciness. Riding glasses. Oh, okay. Royal Canadian. Oh, okay, okay. We've been on for a minute, but we're still on, um, Joe. All right, wait. Let me see. I don't see anything spectacular about this chain. No. But it's an infinity sign on a chain, and it's tangled into some, this other one. Hold up. Hold up, y'all. Y'all know how these bags go. Okay. Here's the little infinity sign right there. And it is nothing, and it's tangled up, and it's not a um, any kind of real piece. 
not anything special. Ooh, ooh, I just dropped something here. Oh, these are cute. Oh, these are really cute. These are Jill Cliff. Jill Cliff. Like, I, I'm going to throw you off the cliff. Jim, Jim Cliff. So I'm assuming Jim Cliff is the designer. Look at that. Martini glasses. Wait a minute. Look, has anybody ever heard of Jim Cliff? My face it just is getting me, man. It's so broke out. Yeah, you know, I was trying to get y'all to know what I meant. I'm going to throw your butt off that cliff. You know that. Everybody heard that once in their life, right? Wait, let me look up Jim, Jim Cliff. Let me look him up because I'm curious. Let's see what Jim is about. Jim. Jim got a little cost with him. Jim costs a little bit. Hold up. Get out of here, Jim. Martini glass. Hold up, y'all. Jim done piqued my interest. Come on, thing. You know what? I done messed around and turned my phone off because I had my phone on the thing. Thank you, Kathy. I don't, y'all. I'm going to watch this crap out. I was trying something and it didn't work out. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Um, Hold up, y'all. Hold up. Hold up. I'm going to tell y'all. Jim Cliff. Hold up. I don't see him. Jim Cliff must have been somebody popular. I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to take some time. Jimmy Cliff. No. Yeah, he must have been some type of a singer or something, probably. Uh, so, Joan, hey, Joan. All right, let me come back to y'all. Okay. Does, has anybody ever heard of um, Jim Cliff? What's up, Kathy? I'm trying to make sure I'm with y'all. Y'all look. Oh, reggae singer. Okay. So I was trying to see. I don't know. I'm going to see him to the side. Yes. C-L-I-F-F. -F. Okay. Lord, remember these? Now, now, if I could ever get an afro, I would have wore it out and wore these big old earrings. That used to be the look. I used to want that so bad. <laughs> yes, big hair, big earrings. Jersey girl's dream. Okay. Let me see. Okay, just a little bracelet. From the 80s, party girls. <laughs> Look, see that? Little metal flowers. Nothing spectacular. Okay. Pam got on. Hey, Pam. Thank you, Pam. <laughs> Shut up, Judy. Look at this. Ooh, ooh. Something just made some noise around here. Okay, here's a little cheapy but cute. Another little dainty piece. 
right? Really pretty. Okay. Again, another throwback. Does this go with these earrings? Well, it sure could. Look. Could go with it. But look. That is really cute. Yellow and like a um, brownish, burnt orange brown. No name. But cute. Got some age. That's, that's definitely um, got some age to it. Okay. We got us some bracelets. And some bangles with some bells and whistles on them. Bunch of little cheapies, but cute. Okay. Oh, this is a kid's peace sign. Latchkey kid chain. With the peace sign. Rainbow. Yeah, like a teenager player and stuff. Um, here's some more earrings. These are kind of cute. Who are these by? Connections with a K. Cool connections. These sold for $12 somewhere. Like it might be like a department store brand. Hey Marilyn, how are you? Thank you. Thanks so much. 12 bucks, y'all. They sold for. And then we have another pin. But this is a pin pin. Victoria BC. British Columbia. Prop no. No. Victoria with a BC. I don't know what the BC is for. Victoria is my mom's name, but it has the the um the two-story bus. That's why I said uh, um, British. Yeah. And then we have, if I'm missing your comments, y'all, it's because I'm focusing on this. I'll be, you know, I'll chit chat in a minute. Um, save your comments. Portland Yacht Club, another pin. Somebody collected pins. Portland Yacht Club. And this is. Redeem this for $25 off any dancing diamond jewelry. Okay. And this is a little, there's no diamond in here, but it's a little, um, what's that? Sombrero hat or something like that? Yeah, one of them, like the wide hats. And it's dancing diamond. Milano Diamond Gallery. But this ain't no diamond that's in here. St. Thomas is one of them cruise things, you know. And then um, more bangles. This one got some rhinestones in it. Hey, Regina. And then, um, oh, this is pretty. This is pretty. Rather cute. Look at this. Let me get this price tag off. They had this, what does this say? From $18.99 to $5.99 to $3.99. Somebody thought this was real pearls. And then they were proven wrong. So they dropped it down. And then it came into the bag. I don't know how they thought it was real pearls. Because it just, it's plastic. But $18.99. That's cute though. Look at that. Cute. It's a nice piece and in good, very good shape. Um, this is nothing spec tech. Looking for marks. And nine. Okay. I'm trying to tear this tape off so I can open it up. Okay. They had these taped together. They were selling these together for $6.99. Here's a bracelet. It's the hook and which one call it? Look at that. What's up, Regina? Okay, that and then they were selling it with this. A stretchy. Oh, here's the other earring that went with this one. Buy best jewelry. No name. Another plastic watch. 
And here is a, oh, it's got designs all on it. T, TW, it's another one of these. Again, no battery. Another one of these. Oh, this is a Garmin. This is by Garmin. The, um, you know, the um, navigation system, I used to have one by Garmin. I don't know if this is just a watch or if it does something else too, but it doesn't have a battery. All right, y'all, I'm done. <laughs> Look at this. It's a cuff. I don't want to put it on my wrist because it's fabric, but it's a cuff with a bow and it's very silky. Yeah. Uh oh. All right, I'm behind on my thing. Yeah, this has some good juicy stuff in it. Oh, here's a phone um, doodad. Let me open it. Look, you can hold your phone. Wait a minute. Oh, for the vent, for your vent in your car. Look. And it has the thing for the vent. So you can hold the phone in your car. That's got good. I'm going to keep that. And then um, for good, that's good for navigation and stuff. Okay, wood beads. It doesn't say a name and it doesn't have a price, but wood bead earrings and they are the um, hook in. You see? And then look at that necklace. It's nice and heavy too. So it's quality. It's probably department store quality. This is, no, this, I'm on my second bag now. I'm on my second bag. It was two bags. And then um, the other bag that I opened up, the first bag was um, $8.40. This bag was $7.40. All right, this is tangled. It's a ch um, this would be good craft beads, mm -hmm. you know, to make something else out of it. But it's so tangled. You know what, news, get off my phone. <laughs> Okay, then we have, again, another grouping of, um, you know, bangles. Just various pieces. Nothing spectacular. Nope. That one got a little design on it. That's it. And then we have this. Oh, this is a bracelet. Okay. Look, another one of them when Boo's taking you out. This isn't good, though. You know why? Because the, it keeps attaching itself to the other chain. So it's easy to tangle up. But you see that? And here's the magnet clasp. Cute, neutral color. I mean, you know. And then we have... QQ Quartz. Little kids watch. And so nothing, nothing really juicy in these bags. See, you know what? From doing these bags, they don't give you nothing no more. Remember how I used to get all kinds of good stuff? Now I could barely even find one and I don't get the juice no more. This is a kid. This came from like Claire's or something. But the dance, it, was, it wasn't a diamond. It was just like a sombrero hat. It was like a piece of plastic jewelry that was in there. Like stuff they give you on the cruise ships. Here's another pin that says Alaska. Somebody traveled and got pins wherever they went. And then here is another pin, Vancouver Island. And that is it, ladies. Oh, no, wait. We had a, of a um, what is this? Canada pin. They went all over Canada. And that's it. That's all we got. That's it. And that's all, y'all. That's it. And that's all. But yeah, I was happy to find another. Um... Oh, okay. Yeah, I know a lot of people do. A lot of them do that. But our Goodwill, really, the jewelry we get from them is junk. It's nothing exciting. 
all kinds of, and even gold. I actually just recently going through my jewelry because I was getting something together for a sale. And um, I found a diamond stud. And it's probably like a like maybe one third of a carat. And it's in 14 karat golds. I'm getting ready to go sell that to the jewelry store. I am going to sell that. Yeah, it wasn't bad though. You know, you can make some nice little lots out of this. All of this is, you know, a lot of people make a living by getting these bags, sorting this stuff out and selling it piece by piece. I don't have the patience for that. Like, I do not have the patience for selling every little thing for like $3 here, $2 there. Like, I don't have the patience for that. That's a lot of work, you know? So, oh, my camera is up a little high. Huh. So, let me see. All right, y'all, I'm ready to talk now. What were we talking about? <laughs> Joe, you a mess. All right. So, all right, y'all, let's go. I ain't going to go back. Let me keep up with y'all. Yeah. Oh, do you like that? 1928? I just, I get a lot of that. A lot of it. I'm, if I come across any, I'll let you know, Joe, because I'm going through old jewelry now. I used to get it a lot. You know they do because they learn. Because you know what? It's funny that when I walk in the thrift store, they say, hey, hey, Joan, you know, and, and I'm like, come on now, because you found the channel and you know that I do this. You know what I mean? Not at all. Not at all as good as they used to be. And you know what? I may still look up on one here or there. But I haven't really been buying them. Yeah, not bad, though. So I think I probably will just lot some of this up. I'm thinking about lotting some of it up and just selling them, you know, getting them out of here. So I don't know. This All of this right here might be one lot. Everything sitting here, except for my little... Uh, and my martini earrings, because I want to look, think, see what's going on with them. Everything here might be a lot. I think I'll bag it all up, put it in one bag. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've gotten some really nice pearls. Real pearl. I would have never bought pearls in my life, but I have found some really nice pieces. So what else y'all been up to, y'all? What else is going on? I'm going to try to find some more bags. But that little um craft kit, oh, that was really nice. For y'all that didn't see it, for y'all, I know, that's how, you know how I used to get when I found something special and I'd be like, all right, calm down because people are going to notice it. Phone case? Oh yeah, my lemon one. Yes. I had this on there since I brought it. That day that I bought it. Yes. I was going to go today because I had the 40% off coupon at St. Vincent's. and I, But I was like, you don't need anything, girl. I just taped a thrift haul. And y'all will be getting that in a couple of days. That'll go up. I taped a um, um, just a, a retail, like a retail therapy haul because I went and brought myself some stuff. And then I taped a thrift haul this, just today. You're going to see me in the same shirt. And... um. I know you got a nice Deborah got a nice coach. You got a nice coach bag that was in really good shape. And you know, I brought one of those um brand new. I brought it for my daughter um back in 2007. So they were that's around that age, the legacy line. Jewelry boxes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, Deborah. Oh, Deborah, I, I mean, not Deborah, um, Sherry. How come I can't talk? Now, I keep wanting to always put Sandra and Sherry together, and I say Sherry. Sandra got her uh, shot. I seen you put that on Facebook, Sandra. Wait a minute, what lemon? What lemon from Dollar Tree? I don't know which one. Oh, the lemon dishes. 
Dollar Tree did, they did have some out this last year. They came out again last year. They were out. I've never been able to find the cherries. I've been still dying for those cherries. I never was able to find them. Okay, the Dollar Tree lemon. Yeah, I got every piece of lemon from Dollar Tree. It's all packed away now because I said I was going to give lemons a break until everybody got over them and then I'd pull it back. I just hate seeing the same thing. You know, oh, you know, everybody having the same thing. I told you I'm a different type of breed. I'm a different animal. No, 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 Sandra, I told you, because by the time you send me them $1 towels, girl, it's going to be $12 to send them. I'll find them. It's no big thing. I just love that green stripe going through it. When I saw that, I was like, oh, wow, that was nice. Yeah, and they, but, and you know what? I saw some, but it was like two glasses uh, and a plate or something like that at the Dollar Tree in Dallas a couple weeks ago. And um, then I haven't seen them any, after that. Oh, okay. You need two more pieces of the lemon. Mine's packed away. I got two full sets of the lemons. So I got an eight for eight piece setting. Because the first one I got, um, Layla brought me back. She was on, she, Layla used to be on the lives a lot. She don't really come to the lives because she was a jewelry person. She came for the jewelry. But she had brought me some back from Washington because Texas didn't get them. Then the next year, Texas finally got them. So I brought a whole nother set. Yep, she brought them back for me. What you talking about, Sandra? Hey, Marlene, what's up, friend? Style with Pat is on. Hey, Pat. Didn't I just say that? Or I saw the name, but I was talking. And I meant to say it. Okay, wait. Oh, yeah, they had the cherries the first year the lemons came out. And I was, my face is horrible. Oh, gosh. That thing. The, what's up, Marlene? Pat is on. Style with Pat. How's everything going over there in Singapore, Pat? Yo, oh, I forgot to show y'all my drink of the day. It's black raspberry, but that ain't even it. Look what I'm drinking it in. These are paper cups by Ray Dunn. Has anybody ever seen them? Um, it's not a necessary. The shampoo is a curling, but then also the stuff that you put in your hair and it makes it curl up. And I don't like the feeling of it. I don't like the look of it. I'm washing this crap out and I'm going to do my hair like it's supposed to. Yeah, these, yes, I got, I thrifted these y'all. I thrifted a whole pack of eight of them, I think. Eight or 10. And they are, um, I got them from Thrift Giant. A whole pack of them, brand new, had never been opened. Oh, you're welcome, Pat. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chris. Oh, Judy calls me that. Judy called my, both my, my, whole, my family calls me that sometimes. Joe. Yeah. <laughs> somebody thought you was talking to Judy. I mean, you thought, somebody thought you were talking to Joe, I guess. <laughs> Judy is, Judith is my sister, Joe. That was funny. Wait, <laughs> so you was like, huh? She calls me that, yeah. You know how sisters cut each other's names short. Hey, Issa, I Issa, am I saying it right? Issa, why can't I talk tonight? Words ain't trying to come out. So, all right, y'all. I cooked today. Hey, Wanda. I don't sell um, 
I don't sell Wanda, but what I am getting ready to do. One second, I'm going to tell you. I'm just trying to catch up. I Did I find any tiger? Oh, slides I did. Wait till you see my haul. Okay, so Wanda, your bro look, you see these bags? Really these. I'm just taking a bunch of it, throwing it in there, right? And then you sell them as a lot. You sell it as a, you know, bulk jewelry. And so like this one right here, the one that I opened both of these bags, I will probably throw in one of these bags, right? And I'll sell it as a craft lot. You see, there was a lot of wearable jewelry in here, right? But I'll sell it as a craft lot. And then, um, you know, you sell a certain, and you're not going to get much money for it. So you sell it for like 20, 25 bucks. And then you, uh, but you charge a shipping. And then, because that's what they go, they go for a little more than that on eBay. So I was like, let me just do it a little cheaper. And then, you know, it is what it is. You're not going to make any money off of it. This, a lot of, like a lot of people who have the patience to take every little piece and sell it. You have to put batteries um, in each watch before you could sell it. Or you can, and another thing you can do, lot up all your watches. If you have a bunch of watches, Who? Yeah, no, I didn't find, no. First of all, let me explain something to you about Lake Crusade. Lake Crusade don't walk out this door when I bring it in. No, I found yellow Lake Crusade bowls at Home Goods, Joe. And then I found uh, a brown Lake Crusade, Lake Crusade piece this week. So y'all got to look at the thrift haul when it comes out so you'll see it. But anyway, Wanda, I hope I answered your question. Tell him to lot them up in these freezer bags. And then, or you could take those, um, if it fits, it ships boxes. You know, they got the $20 box. They got the $15 box. You could load that up with jewelry and sell it by the pound. He could weigh it and sell it like $5 a pound or something like that, $4 a pound. And then he could sell them as lots because a lot of people buy them for crafting, but label them craft boxes. Because it's a lot of wearable stuff, but also if it's broken stuff in there, you don't want to sell that as wearable. So unless you're going to sort through and pull out everything wearable, sell it as a lot, like a craft lot. You know what I mean? And um, Or like a jewelry making kit, you can name it and stuff like that. And it, But it's not going to be that much money in it. It's just not. I do it for fun. We I was doing this for years. I got totes of this. I've been doing it for like the last three years. And I have big totes of jewelry that I got to get rid of. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just sorting them out and selling them. Yeah, definitely. Because you're not, I mean, unless you're one of those people that, um, you know, but there are even some people like that on YouTube. Like um, Thelma Thrift sells pieces. Um, Anita Fanita sells pieces. A lot of people piece out their jewelry and sell it. So, I would just sell these as craft lots. You're not going to make that much money, but you know, it's entertaining to open the bags online. It really is. And even for, you know, like it, it, I just I really, I don't want to buy a lot of them anymore because I get stuck with it and I'm still stuck with jewelry. I'm going through still. Yeah. And I haven't did bags in what, like four or five months. I haven't done a jewelry bag. So, yeah, that's a cute piece. But all of this, I would just put in there. So a person could buy the bag. They could take six or seven pieces out, sell them, make their money back plus, and then have all their craft pieces, you know? Yeah. So that's the thing. But the, the little statue things that I got. Hey. Hey, Tarasha. Did, I just saw Tarasha pop on. Yeah. Hey, Tarasha. So, yeah, y'all. That's it. I ain't doing nothing else. Let me get my hands off my face. Well, my face is messed up as it is. Oh, for real? At Savers? Do you buy the bags at Savers? Yeah, I haven't really been looking for the bags. But I did find some, so I got them. Yeah, and 
and they're really nice. You could make some nice pieces. Like say all of the beads. Look at these. All these little beads here. If you didn't want it now, this is something that is extremely wearable. Nothing's wrong with this. Look at that. You can get a couple wares and then all of these beads could go on something, you know? This is a messed up chain. These are beads that could be broken apart and used in some other kind of craft or jewelry making. All kinds of stuff. These things are really good. Like, look. These right here. Like, say you want to make some type of a wall art, right? I'm missing. I know I'm missing. Okay. Wait a minute. I didn't do anything with them yet. I just did that. I mean, like right now, I'm going to add some of the pieces to the sale. I'm going to do when I get it done, when I get to it, y'all. I will. Like I told you, my face, look at this. My face was horrible yesterday. It's not good today, but it was well worse than this. Look, say you want to make a piece of wall art, right? And you're going to take these and do this. And then you can spray it out all one color. And you can have these as big as you want it, right? Well, all of these. You get these constantly. All of these is in here, right? And you make these and you make a piece of wall, metal wall art. You spray it out copper, spray it out gold, spray it out silver, whatever you want to spray it. And you got a piece of wall art. Yes. I mean, you can do anything with that. Hanging, some, some kind of hanging piece, right? Just hang them like this. These little... Come on, bangle. Like, do them like this and glue them together like this. Like that. 45. I know that California, the prices are crazy. Yeah. Because people watch the videos and they started buying them like crazy. Yeah, definitely. You could do yep, just about anything. This the bracelet right here. I want to keep this too. I forgot. I want to check on this. That is so cute. My big hands can't really yeah, well, it fit, but it ain't my favorite. But that's a um, I'm gonna look into that piece too. But the rest of this I'll probably light up and put it up for sale and call it a day because I gotta get this stuff out of here. So yeah, that's it. That's all. Oh, I made my my um it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. That Tuscan spicy chicken that from the box, it was good, but it didn't strike my fancy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little Alfredo sauce in there and um, see if I can bring it up to bring it back to life or something. So, oh, my face just looks so different because of this rash on it. Hey, Sandra K, what's up, friend? Yeah, I'm getting it as soon as possible. I, my name ain't come up yet. Wait, did you get, did it have anything in it? You're welcome, Wanda. You're welcome. Oh, the bracelet together with C's. <laughs> Wait. Mm, $20. Like, I have spent, like, $29.99 on a bag, but it was, like, huge. <laughs> it was huge. So, prices here are starting to go up. You've seen that bag was $16 and something cents. The only reason why I brought it was because, um, the only reason why I bought it was because it was half price. Good night, Kathy. Have a sleep well, babe. I said, babe. Yeah. I was trying to read and lost my mind. Kathy, sleep well, friend. I don't know what's wrong with me, y'all. I am so my words ain't coming out right. I got this rash on my face. I need to go hide under a brick. Yeah, nah, I can't. I, I mean, then again, depending on where you live at, it might be that's what the going price price is. Remember, I'm here in Texas. And I was so used to getting them so um so cheap. No, it's not the it's not the face mask. It's not the face mask. It was some medicine. Because I don't wear the face mask, mask on my uh, hind parts and on my thighs and on my back. Same rash all over. All over me. It ain't just on my face. I'm just worried about my face. The rest I can treat and, and hide. But this part I can't hide. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not from the face mask. It's from my uh, medicine. She took me off of it. It's, some, it's a rash, a, a medicine that I was taking that is one of the side effects is a really, really ra um, 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 rash that comes all over, yeah, your body. And when it kicked, finally, when it kicked into my face, I was like, okay, time to call a doctor. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot, I just seen that that bill passed, the Senate passed that bill, the $1.9 trillion bill. So, um, and y'all know I don't talk politics, but I'm only saying this because that means that this, um, the um, shots, the vaccines will be coming even faster. They got more money for it. Okay, on the 25th. Okay. Okay, Kathleen, you have a nice night. I'm getting ready to get off, too. I just wanted to pop on and do those bags. Yeah, I got to get this. I'm telling you. I've been, they, she gave me the steroid-like ointment for it. Um, so, because it's just a, re, a reaction to the medication. Now that I'm off the medication, the funny thing is, if you would have seen this yesterday, it was all up, like, right along the bottom of my eyes. My eyes were red. And all down my neck. All down here. And then I got like two patches of it on my thigh, one on my butt, and one on my lower back. Yeah. Oh, another snowstorm, Francis? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, nah. Uh-uh. Nope. Well, you know what? The thing is, I don't think that people moving here did it. I think that p the, the thrift stores are watching um, videos now and they're seeing that this stuff is sellable and they're finding out what this stuff really is. Because when I tell you all the thrift stores have gone up and what I think happened, y'all, I'm telling you, there was some type of um, meeting that got together with these local thrift stores because they all have the same prices now. When I tell you, they will sell. Look, say this. No, I'm trying to get, okay, this. A butter dish, simple butter dish. I know for a fact I paid $4.99 from Home Goods for this, right? Probably it was $12.99 somewhere regularly. The thrift store will sell this for for like fourteen dollars and ninety nine cent to sixteen ninety nine. Yeah. Yes. And then they say, "Oh well, it's fifty percent off today." Well, who still wants to pay seven fifty for something I could get at Home Goods for four ninety nine? Like y'all have lost your ever loving minds. So that's why I don't thrift as much anymore. Um, I will find. I do go, and when I find something that makes. I saw your video, Sandra. I saw your video. Yeah, but I got these last summer when I was at um, in Georgia, when I was with um, at Lane's house. I bought four of them. I got them. They're set on my table now. And um, these are the small personal ones. And then I got a bigger one that's a, um, one for the table. But this is a, the personal size. And um, it's live from Dubai came on. Where is she at? Where is my friend? I ain't seen her in so long. Hey, friend. Good morning. Good morning. I haven't seen you in so long. Hey, Claire. How are you? Yeah, everybody. I'm telling you, there was some meeting, y'all. There really was. It's crazy. What's up, live from Dubai? My friend. Oh, wow. Did they? We still have 50% off. We just got 50% off on home goods. Hey, Tammy, how are you? Thank you. Child, I'm getting ready to wash this stuff out. I was trying something, but it didn't work. Oh, okay. You had to go into work today. Hey, Rena. Y'all popped on after the jewelry. Y'all got to go back and watch the jewelry. I did jewelry today. A bunch of jewelry. I did two bags. Let me see. I'm trying to catch up. 
Well, you know what? They've been open here for so long. It's just that they got to the point now where they got together and all decided that they were going to raise these prices. And I think it's the worst thing in the world that they did that because they're looking at the reseller point of it, you know? Okay, Lisa, tell Mr. Lemons we said hi and good night. Hey, Royal Prince, how are you? Okay, yeah, come back and watch it. There was some good jewelry on. But yeah, so I think what they're doing is they're looking for at the reseller point, what people are talking about, what the resale value is, and they're not realizing that they are local thrift stores, you know? Okay, Tammy, thanks so much. So what they're not doing is they're not realizing because, see, you got to give resellers a, a, a window here because they're not going to come buy this from your store for $16.99 or even for $8.50, right? And then what are they going to sell this for online? And the reason, now here's the thing, for people who don't think that resellers deserve money, and I'm not a reseller, which I'm trying to get up into a little bit, but I haven't been doing it. They crawl through heck. Okay, they go through them bins, they are in stores, they are in lines eight o'clock in the morning or six o'clock in the morning for these sales to get this stuff. They work, they come home, they clean it, they fix it, they, you know, do whatever. They list it. They have to go through taking the pictures, writing the descriptions, they list it. That is work and they deserve to make a couple dollars off of something. You see what I'm saying? So when the thrift stores think locally if you wasn't selling it before locally and the resellers had to come get it what makes you think you're going to sell it for four times more where something like this would have been in the store for 199 six months ago right now and so a reseller could get it and put it on there for eight dollars or if they had all four twenty dollars for the set you know what i mean but you can't buy these at eight dollars a piece now 850 a piece and then sell them you're just not going to do that not on eBay or nowhere else. So, you know, I just think that is not right what they're doing when it comes to that. People deserve to make money when they are going through all of that mess. Like stuff has to be washed, stuff has to be cleaned, stuff, some stuff has to be touched up. You know what I mean? Um, some things might need to be completely redone and it sells. You know, like farmhouse stuff. When, when farmhouse was at its highest, which is still around, but when it was at its highest, you could easily buy some old beat up thing, come home, wipe it down a little bit, throw a little extra paint and rough it up and sell it and somebody would buy it. And it was big, you know? So now you get all of that in the store. You don't have to go through all of that. But I say that to say, you know, those people deserve some money. They put in work there. That is time. I, I know there was times where I would be out for seven, eight hours hitting out and I could hit 50 miles worth of thrift stores going around in the DFW area in a matter of a day. I could clear 50 miles and hit maybe seven or eight thrift stores. Yes. Child, I tell you, it's some work. It's some work. I know what you mean, Sandra. So I say that to say these thrift stores don't realize what they're doing. And um, so now they're selling resale. Nobody in this area is going to pay the reseller fees. You sell that by selling it online for somebody in um, Little Rock. No, not Little Rock, Arkansas. That's a big town. But, I mean, Timbuktu that don't get out often or it's snowing right now or, you know, the weather's still not good and you can't go to the, to the town, into town and buy something. They are the people who's buying stuff because they're waiting for it to come in the mail. You see what I'm saying? They just can't get to three hours away to the thrift store. They're buying stuff. So if the thrift stores really want to do that, become resellers and start doing all of that. Clean it and make sure you're selling something perfect and not broke stuff. And then make sure you take all the pictures and disclose every little crack or crevice in it. You know what I mean? And then you can sell it for that. You know, I'm going to, I am on my uh, soapbox tonight, ain't I? So I say that to say people don't realize. Um, hey, Lada, how are you, friend? We had Lottie and Lotta on tonight. I'm not doing a whole jewelry sale. I'm going to have a couple pieces in there, but I'm going to do a regular sale. I, it's Every time, the first Thursday we were supposed to do it, uh, the lights went out. Rem I mean, the um, uh, cable went out. Remember that? So I couldn't have it because my cable was out and we had the bad rainstorm. Then this week I planned on doing it. And now look at this. I'm all right. <laughs> so I'm, this is best, the best I've looked. 
So, yeah, I came on today. I was like, you know what it is. Y'all know me. So, yeah. Okay, Deborah, thanks for joining me. Us. Yeah, it is work. It really is. Tammy, how are you doing now? How you feeling, friend? Glam queen? Yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And taxes. You're right. And taxes. Because you got to claim this. You got to pile taxes on it and everything. So if they think, you know, so now with these prices, you really can't resell. You got to now depend on, thank God, um, garage sales and yard sales are coming up. Because I've been uh, the other day I was out and they had them all over the place. Yes, indeed. Yeah, now see, we uh, the 99 cent days are coming back stronger with Thrift Giant. So that's good. But Thrift Giant, the, I went twice so far since they came back. And, um, oh, okay, well, that's good. At least you're coming along. At least you're coming along. Girl, it's a mess, ain't it? Always something. But yeah, the last two times I went to Thrift Giant, no, and everybody else was in the store complaining too. No 99 cent tags was in it. I think I got one thing for 99 cent and I had to dig for it. And it was like an old shirt or something. Like they don't have anything. Like it's just not the way it used to be. It's really not. I'm waiting. The treasure chest is supposed to open. I can't say that on here <laughs> because every time I say it on the video, people beat me to it. But it's supposed to open soon. And um, in a couple months or so. But the moment that it does, I'm going to go down there and check it out. Y'all remember the tre treasure, trust where, uh, treasure chest where everything starts at a dollar on Thursday, 50 cent Friday, and a quarter on Saturday. So I'm going to go down there and see because I know people have been donating to them. But they haven't been open because of the pandemic. They never opened back up. So, yeah. They're going to open back up soon, though, I heard. Is wrong with this phone? Why won't it do what it needs to do? Come on, thing. Okay. Oh, y'all got two dollar days, huh, Miss Mildred? Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah, and I know shipping is not helping people because of the way it's been so every little thing they're backed up. How come they never got backed up before? Why is it now that they are so backed up? Yeah, okay. It's a mess. Yeah, it is. And the sad thing is, is that our goodwill is, this is the sad thing. Goodwill here is probably your best bet to thrift at this point because one thing about goodwill is they have set prices so even though they're higher than what the stores here used to be and we still have our outlets so i can't be mad but i'm just not the outlets are mostly closed but um the the goodwills is probably our best place other than the outlets and the outlets really don't have like i said the housewares i like so and i don't feel like digging through clothes and then we have the bins and I was down there the other day, and I just did not stop. So we had one in Dallas now. I was there, and I just was like, I don't feel like my body could not dig. I couldn't do it. Okay, Merlin, thank you so much for joining. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to chat. I was doing that jewelry. Yeah, you definitely got to wash. If you're going to be selling clothes, you got to wash them and, and uh, press them out and steam them. All right, let me catch up because I think I made my thing go back. Good night, Deborah. Have fun. Pray for me, child. Pray for me. Okay, wait. Oh, like I told you, I'm getting ready to go in here and try to make this dinner taste better. Yeah, we haven't had any clothes either. We haven't had any Goodwill's clothes. 
Oh, I take that back. The boutique that used to be around on Custer is now just a um, drop-off center. So they did close that one, but they had them every couple blocks. They had one on Coit, they had one on Custer, and they had one on Spring Creek. Come on now. I mean, um, Alma, like right around the corner from each other. It was just too many. So they closed the one in the middle. Oh, okay. Kathleen, which just celebrated, she got off. She just celebrated. She's cancer free. She is done. Yep. So we were just ringing the bell for her. Yes. What's up, Rena? So yeah, you're gonna be fine. Hey, Nicole. Nicole popped on with us. I did a jewelry bag tonight, Nicole. We get ready to get off of here now, but I did um two jewelry bags. I went to throwback time. <laughs> I went way back and, and dug up a jewelry bag. Yes, indeed. Yeah, y'all, that's it. So, yeah, I mean, it's just people don't, and, and you know, and that's where why I feel about with the, the thrifting thing is that people who resell for a living, and even if you do it part-time, because some people do it part-time for extra money, their vacation money for their family and all. But I say that to say people need to respect that more because that's a lot of work. That's a lot of digging. That's a lot of prepping it takes a lot to list y'all you wonder why i'm so lazy i don't want to do it because i'm just a bum i don't want to work you know what i mean and that's some work that is some physical work lifting tugging sorting tagging all kinds of stuff and you got to keep everything in order and you on top of all of that you got to keep your records you know it's a business and then you have to file taxes and you can't be playing around with that so resellers deserve the money that they sell the pieces for. Trust me. When people say, oh, I can get that from the thrift store for $5 less. Well, go get it. If you can, if you want to get on the plane, fly out here and buy it for um, $5 less and then get back on the plane and go home, get it. But this is where it was. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know, y'all. Like I said, I was on the soapbox today. I'm going to get off of that. And I got to get my life in order is what I got to do. Okay, Rena. Uh, it sure was a pretty, it was a nice day and I never went out, y'all. Never went out. I started, I had got up, I got dressed. I said, let me run around here and go check out St. Vincent's because I had the 40% off coupon. And um, I said, uh, let me run around here and see what, what they got. I ain't never go. Never cracked the door. Well, I did. I finally opened the door because I was like, I'm at Amazon said they sent my package. Watch her bring watch Alexa go crazy. Oh, her, she ain't ring the light. She ain't listening. But anyway, then I didn't get a package concierge notice. So I opened my door. It was a package sitting on my steps since yesterday from when they delivered the package. I just got a um mattress cover, you know, like the mattress cover. It was time for a new one. So I got one. And I um I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to get ready to go in there and change my bed now. So I'm going to put it on. And do it. But anyway, y'all, I'm tired. You see this fool? You see, you see this girl? Yeah. Huh? What's going on, y'all? Rena says she up out of here. She did too much uh, road, uh, road yard work today. Oh, yawning. I know. That's what I'm doing. I'm like, what is this? It just came right out of me too. What time is it getting late? That's what it is. It's nine o'clock. It ain't that late. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to get off of here. And I'm going to go in here and fix something to eat. And I'm going to go in here and take the sheets off my bed and spray my bed with some disinfectant. And then I'll let that dry before I, and then I'll have time to do it. But it's late. Y'all, I brought a new computer this week. <laughs> You're crazy, Tammy. <laughs> Tammy, I'm just picturing that. That's all. I don't even know what the conversation was. 
but I'm picturing Tammy breaking the leg and doing the two-step in her cowboy boots. That's what I'm picturing. <laughs> but wait, I uh, brought a new computer and I brought a desk. I put everything together. And then, um, so I got everything set up. I got YouTube set up on there and Facebook. That's really all I got on there. But I do have to buy an editing program. So I got to do that. And yeah, I did everything. I put it all together. My printer is in there, the computer. I got it all in one with the big, the wider, um, whatchamacallit. Oh, I didn't know what it was. Alexa, I'm sorry, Joe. Oh, about Alexa, about Alexa. Okay. She's, she just picked it. Now she, I seen her color go around. She's a mess. So, and it, oh, y'all, Amazon had the um, smart plug, you know, the plug that you plug in the wall, and it works with the A app, the Alexa. And Alexa, I am not talking to you. I'm talking about you. Hmm, I don't know that. Alexa, I am talking about you. Sorry. I thought I heard my name. Okay. Anyway, it works with the app. And um, you can say, turn off my light, such and such light, or whatever. You know, it's 99 cent, y'all. Oh, it was a breeze. I put the desk together and everything. It was a breeze. Y'all, I've been doing that for years, so it's no big thing. I've always put my stuff together. When I buy it, I put the desk together, and I hooked up the computer. And it's easy because the computer is all in one. You don't have the tower or anything like that. It's just that everything is in the built into the thing. So she... um. But anyway, that smart plug, y'all, I got it for 99 cents. I tried to get my daughter to get one. But Amazon is smart enough to know if you have an Alexa Echo Dot. My daughter don't have one. And she, um, they wouldn't let her get it for 99 cents. Now, they have it where you could buy the plug and the app and the um, dot thing, whatever it's called, for, but it's expensive. It's like $89. I'm like, get out of my face. You're welcome, Fatima. Yeah, so that thing was 99 cents. That's it sitting in my mailbox. I got to go get that. <laughs> and then I brought some um, other health stuff that you know we don't talk about on here. And that's sitting around there in the um, concierge lockers. So I got to go get mail. And I don't, I was supposed to go get it after I got up here, but it ain't happening tonight, y'all. I'm going to get in here and get this bed. <laughs> I'll get yawn again. Get it together, girl. Okay. So, um, yeah, anyway, y'all, I'm going to get off of here and I will chit chat with y'all. We will, um, catch up. How about we do a weekday? How about we do a weekday just to chit chat, just to catch up with everybody. Let's do that one day during the week. Let's do that. And you know what? It'll probably be a quick impromptu sale to sell off some of the little pieces I have. How, how about we do that this week? So. Save a couple bucks for the middle of the week and we'll do that. Oh, and guys, by the way, I did a new t-shirt campaign. If you guys are interested in getting the t-shirts, because every time I wear my t-shirts, everybody says, oh, I want to get the t-shirt, but I only do the small campaigns. I am going to set up my shelf one day on the Facebook, I mean, on the YouTube page and sell some t-shirts on there. But I did one, I did one, um, yeah, the sale, it'll probably be, let's let's do one this week. But it really, it ain't even going to be anything formal. I'll just show some pieces if they want it, they want it. If not, you know. But anyway, the t-shirts, um, they, they are the Thrift Queen t-shirts, and it says YouTube on it. And it's like a cartoon of me on there, right? So if you guys are interested, I got the t-shirts down to $19.99, so I'm really not making any money off of them. However... They were, they're just cute to um, give out. They suggest you sell them for $24.99. And a lot of people do because that way you make money off of it. I'm really not going to make any. However, um, I just wanted the t-shirts to get out there. So 
if you guys are interested, they're only around for a couple of weeks and that's it. And after that, they'll be gone. So um, I do have to go in there. I'm going to order myself too. Hey, Karen. So if you guys are interested, I posted the link on Facebook and um, I'm going to put it in the description box of each of my next videos coming up. Um, the link to the t-shirts, if you're interested in the t-shirts. And then after that, until I get a chance to do the thing on face on YouTube, I probably won't be selling them anymore. I just wanted this t-shirt. So I said, let me do a campaign. <laughs> that was it. So anyway, um, I will, I'm going to get off of here, y'all. I'm going to chit chat with y'all during the week one day. I'll pop on and um, then that day it'll be for some chit chat, but I'll also be selling some little things like some mugs and some little things that's easy to ship, maybe some jewelry, stuff like that. And um, I'll talk to y'all then. So anyway, guys, I'm off and I'm going to eat. Y'all go eat. You hear that noise? Don't make no sense. All right, y'all. I'm going to chit-chat with y'all during the week. Have a nice night, guys. I'm going to hang up on y'all now. <laughs>